Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Approximately a year ago, I made a video and said that Car Arms is working on a double stack 9mm handgun. And I said it's coming. And it is coming, although this one is not available in the market yet. It's a pre-production model, but I want to show you the features and what you could look forward to in the future. But we know Car for making very small, lightweight, easy to carry reliable handguns with a very smooth double action trigger pull they make single stack magazine handguns and people said if car would just make a double stack i would buy one love everything about them but they don't make a double stack i want higher capacity so car enlisted me as a tester and i want to introduce this it's an introduction video to what they have been working on and continue to work on. Once again, it is a pre-production model. So it's not complete. But here is the Car X9. Check that out. And it's a double stack. But I want to talk about the magazines because that is so interesting to me. The X9 has many of the same features that car fans love but it is also very different so let's talk about it first off they're all coming optic ready you don't have to use it people say i don't want anything to do with those red dots green dots you name it mounting i don't want anything to do with it so you don't have a cover plate or you can put a dot on there and it's an rms footprint so very common footprint also the grip texturing is a bit different feels great but let's get to it it has a double stack magazine and what we have here is not a car mag car is going to come out with a 10 and then eventually a 15 round mag but what makes the x9 different and it's actually something i've never seen before is that the p365 mag will work just fine in the x9 better than that here we have a springfield armory Hellcat mag. Check this out. The X9 will feed and fire with a Springfield Armory Hellcat magazine along with the car mags. Now it's a pre-production model. Not everything is complete at this time. Here we have a bar sight. Very common with many of the car pistols to have a bar sight. That is not what you can expect on the X9. You could expect a taller sight and a taller front sight. So that's something that may be a little deceiving at this moment, but they are certainly working on it. Now, the mags are very interchangeable with the two I mentioned, along with the car mag that we can expect. But also, what makes the X9 very different, and car fans, I think, are going to enjoy this. What we have here is a familiar car trigger. See that? All right. It is smooth. It is crisp. And it has a double action trigger pull. Car will also have a shorter and lighter trigger and they will be interchangeable. So if you enjoy the smooth, full double action car trigger, that will be available to you. The buyer will decide if they want the traditional double action car trigger or a shorter and lighter trigger. The company's still deciding how that's going to work, but one thing for certain is the buyer will decide which trigger they want with their X9. So you will have that option if you go with the X9 once available. So I think that's, that's super cool that it offers that type of flexibility. So here we have a three slot Picatinny rail, forward serrations, I mentioned 3.54 inch barrel, and an overall very nice feel. They kept it subcompact, and the disassemble is very different. I'm also going to talk about that. But the X9 will also be very competitively priced. Now, being that this is a pre-production model, not all the details are available, or at least they weren't given to me at this time, but I wanted to show you what you could expect with the car X9, the new double stack handgun that will be available when well, time will tell with that, but at this moment, this is what they're working on, and they are doing a fine job. Now, I mentioned they take SIG mags. I want to make a point here. Here's a P365. This has a 3.1-inch barrel. I have noticed that many people have gone with longer barrel handguns. Right at the 35 
inch mark with the barrel length anyhow. And here is the overall length. You can see that the X9 on the right goes a little bit longer. This has a 3.54 inch barrel. This has a 3.1 inch barrel. So although the barrel length is longer with the X9, the overall length of the slide is not that great, which makes it very interesting. Here's a closer look at the X9. I like the grip texturing. Very different than what we're used to. But I'm going to go ahead and bring out my P9 and show the difference between the familiar car disassemble and the disassemble with the X9. Let's show how the X9 disassembles. It is very different. Car owners understand that the other handguns, this pin here, needs to be removed. So you just bring the slide back a little bit, push that pin out a little bit, then grab it, remove it, pull the trigger, and off comes the slide. Here we have an uncaptured recoil spring, all steel guide rod. The X9 is completely different. With the slide locked back, this lever here needs to be pushed down. So we push it down like that, drop the slide, pull the trigger, and off comes the slide from the frame. Here we have a captured recoil spring, steel guide rod, and then the 3.54 inch barrel. Much easier, much quicker, and overall a more simple process. And then to reassemble, just get that back into place. We're going to move this back, lock the slide back, push that lever back, and it is reassembled. Here's another point I think is worth mentioning. I have the Hellcat mag in the X9, but this is the Car PM9 Culvert. And if you notice, they went with a little bit of a longer grip with a seven round magazine, and they kept the three inch, very short barrel. All right, so it's, it's different. The X9 went in the opposite direction. They made a longer barrel, and then this is the Hellcat mag once again, but the car mag will be right around here, probably two and a half finger contact, I would guess, once that car mag is inserted. But as I mentioned, the 15 round mags will be available as well. So they went in the opposite direction, but preferences are what matters most and what people prefer. I think people prefer a car arms double stack. That's, that's been the feedback I've gotten. Another thing is that the Optic is a direct mount with the RMS footprint, and I think that is a nice touch. You can expect taller sights. It also has an ambi slide stop, all right, so it's a bit more left-handed friendly. And the overall look and feature-loaded options with the X9 I think is going to be attractive to many people, and car fans will love it, and those who have been asking for a double stack car arms handgun you're looking at a pre-production model of what you can expect in the future if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe